So Republican Senator Lindsey Graham is coming to Donald Trump's defense following David Pecker's testimony last week about a catch and kill scheme to help the former president. Take a look. I think all these trials are political. I think it's selective prosecution. I think what's going on in New York is an outrage. The, the, the case is eight years ago. They created a crime just for Trump. I think it's selective prosecution for political purposes. David Pecker, who ran the National Enquirer's parent company, testified that he paid to catch and kill stories about Trump, specifically to help his presidential campaign. You don't have any concerns about that? You know, apparently a lot of people do this. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Tiger Woods. No, I think the whole thing is a crock. Obviously, Tiger Woods, it, Tiger Woods is not running for president, and the allegation is about, at least not <laughs> yeah, yet, no, about I got campaign. It. Yeah, I think the whole thing's BS. Okay. Yeah, I think it's all BS. Yeah, political BS. So, Rav, it's no surprise that Lindsey Graham would, of course, defend uh, Donald Trump and bring in some false equivalencies. Um, while he is at it, I, I, and we should also fact check, of course, this is not a charge that was invented just for Donald Trump. But I want to get you a big picture of po all the politics of this. Far too early to know whether this, there will be any impact in November from this criminal trial. But what Graham is saying there is what we are hearing from some Republicans, the idea that this, is, this, this case is not that serious, it, it, it's, it's, it's uh, prosecutor overreach, Biden ordered it up, whatever it might be. Do you think that's going to have, did that talking point going to resonate some with independents, with swing voters who maybe aren't paying attention day to day like we all are, but just hear that Trump's in trouble for X, Y, Z, and they hear about this case, they're kind of like, well, this is, you know, that was a long time ago, and maybe it's not as big of a deal. Do you think there's going to be some merit to his argument? Could it work? I think they are trying to make it work. I think in the long run, uh, whether or not they get away with it is how the Democrats and other independents that believe in the law and believe in not trying to tilt uh, public opinion one way or another to uh, therefore have all the information they need to know about a candidate to vote, how vocal they are and effective they are. We're talking about normalizing a man running for president of the United States that actively engage in trying to, in effect, bribe people into not saying what it is his true character was so he could become the president of the United States. I mean, to normalize this kind of behavior at a presidential level is a danger to this country. How are we raising our kids? And I think if they begin to amplify that, uh, like we were talking earlier about Governor Nome. Can you imagine if somebody came out and said Kamala Harris had shot a, a, an animal, how the reaction would be? So we need to uh, talk about this in the sense of what are the standards we're talking about? It is now acceptable to bribe people, including porno stars that you allegedly slept with, in order for you to achieve office. That's acceptable behavior. Then what happens to all of the moral standards that the evangelicals and other supporters of Trump preach to the rest of us?